you've learned how to make marks and procreate. Now it's time to make something cool. And this week we'll have a ball by making this sphere. So we're going to be using charcoal for many of these lessons. Charcoal is one of the most forgiving medias in Procreate and real media. Like real media, charcoal works best with a finger instead of a stylus. We'll use other tools to make black more interesting. But you're just going to be using your finger just like I'm pinching here. We'll start in the gallery. So go back to gallery if you're not there already. And I'm going to make a new one. So I'm going to go click on the plus over here and pick screen size. And I'm going to go check my tools here. So I'm going to start over here with colors, and I'll pick a color. I've got a, a dark. I may pick a little lighter color here. But somewhere in the, the dark black range over here, it doesn't really matter what your hue is. Then go to the eraser. That should be vine charcoal. Your blender, that should be vine charcoal. And finally, your brush, and that should be vine charcoal. And if you got all that set, then we can go ahead and get ready to start drawing here. So I'm going to draw by using my pinch right here like this. And so you can see how I'm pinching my fingers. And this is exactly how I would hold a crayon. Uh, we're not going to be holding it like we would a pencil, like this. That's not how you would be holding this. It's usually a very small piece about this big. So it's not like a huge thing that you're going to be doing that. So I usually hold it like this. And usually it would be between my two fingers. But if you just hold it a little bit off like that, you can see like my finger. I just use the tip of my finger and it's now supported by my thumb. And I'm just going to move with my arm. I'm not actually moving with my wrist or my fingers. It's the arm movement is what we're going to be doing. And so with that, you can just make a big circle like that. Relatively easy by just going round and round and round. And you have yourself a circle. That's an easy way of doing it. And you can practice this by taking two fingers, tapping on the screen, and that gets you an undo. And then you can do it again. So let's do that one more time. And that gets us a circle. And we're using our arm here, not using our hands. It's all arm movement. And so that gets it a lot more accurate because we're not playing around with the fine motor of the hand for this. I'm going to tap that again and try it one more time. So you get the idea. All right. And so we can get lots of good circles that way. So that's one way to make a good circle. Now, Procreate does let you make circles that are perfect if you want them to be. I'm not a big fan of perfect circles, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. So if I make one circle around like this and then hold down on my iPad, then what I'm going to get is where it says ellipse created. And that makes an ellipse. Now, if I want to make sure this is a perfect circle, I take another finger and I just push that down and it makes that a perfect circle. Now, I pick up on my first finger and then the second finger, and I have a perfect circle here. So if you want to make perfect circles, this is how you would do it. And we'll use this perfect circle as our example for, for our sphere. And our next step is I'm going to just make sure I've got a decent size here, and I've got about 10% on my size right now. I'm going to bump that up to about 24%. And I'm going to put down a mark. And I'm going to also make it a little darker, so I'm going to move up the opacity to about 90-something. And then I'm just going to make an arc in here, like this. So we got like a half moon crescent type thing. All right, and once I do that, I'm now going to go to my blender. And with the blender, I'm going to set, again, a size probably about the same, somewhere in the 30 range here. And I'm also going to set this opacity all the way up for this. And I'm just going to go sweep out and then sweep around the same way I did with the arc and just go back and forth like that and just go back and forth and you start getting a gray ball like that. It's blended the dark and the light together. I can then go back to here with the brush. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, maybe to about 11% and now add a little bit more dark on this side. And do the same thing, again, bringing this down to maybe 16%. And then doing the same thing, just scribbling here so I can get some some of that color in. And that dark now blends in, like so. And I'm starting to get the shape of a sphere. Now, I'm next going to do is I'm going to use the eraser. 
Now, we don't use white for what we're going to be doing, at least not yet. Instead, we're going to use the eraser to get light area. So I'm going to set the eraser. I've got my opacity all the way up to 100%. And I'm going to pull down this to about, let's say, 23%. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of color in like that. And I have erased it and made it white. I can now go back to my blender and blend in that white, like so. Again, making those same kind of strokes we're making, just arcs back and forth, like so. And if I zoom out now, you'll see that we've got ourselves a really nice looking sphere here. Now, I've got some light going on here, and so wherever you're gonna have that big dark, if it's sitting on something, there's gonna be a shadow. So I'm gonna go over here Put on my brush and just put a little bit of dark over here where the dark of the sphere is. Then go to the blender and blend out some of the edges of that. And I went a little too far, so I'm going to clean that up a bit. There. And uh, put a little more brush back in there. And there you go, and if I zoom out again, there you go, I've got myself a really nice looking sphere. So that's how you make spheres. You can keep blending this if you want, but that gives you the general idea of what we're doing with a sphere. Your challenge for this lesson will be to make a whole bunch of spheres. So make about 10 of them. If you really wanna go nuts, go ahead and make a whole 25. And if you find one that you really, really think is a cool one, Send it to me, and you can go ahead and tweet me at Steve Lipton with the hashtag of Explore Procreate, and we can go ahead and put that up on Twitter, and I'll take a look at them and tell you how great you did. So we're now going to go on to the next subject after this, which will now get even more shapes and some other techniques to start drawing so that we can start making really cool things. So don't forget to subscribe so you get all of the upcoming lessons. And you won't miss a single episode. And check out the Serious webpage. You'll find a link for that in the description below.